My name is Lindsay Savino. I'm a supervising producer on The Disappearance of Natalie Holloway. We're here in New Orleans documenting TJ and his investigative team preparing for the sting operation. TJ's got two investigators, Kathy and Eric, who are going to be managing the sting operation. One person will be on foot tracking Gabe and John when they're out of the hotel room, and then one person will be set in the control room monitoring their conversations and hopefully recording a confession from John. We're going to position two rooms in that hotel, one next door to each other. Today, we're going to go wire that one room with all our cameras. We're documenting TJ set up all the equipment and the instructions for setting up the hidden cameras were really hard to decipher. There was definitely some questionable moments of if the technology that TJ was setting up was actually going to work, which is a big deal because without recording the statement, then none of this meant anything. Where's the actual camera at? It's in the front, somewhere on here. So it's actually on the display? Yeah. So TJ and his team decided to call in professional camera technicians to rig the room with hidden cameras. They came in, they were fast, they, they've done this a million times. Right now we're monitoring the camera installation crew and putting in the hard wires for the cameras and the audio. Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How are you? Gabriel is volunteering to help Dave Holloway, but there's a real risk here. You know, he can be putting himself in jeopardy. He's aware of that, and investigators have talked about that with him, but no one wants to see someone get hurt. You're dealing with this individual who may have helped Joran Vandersloot move Natalie's remains in 2010. This is not someone who is incapable of unpredictable behavior. And if something went wrong, if this guy found out that there was investigators watching him or a camera crew watching him, what would he do? I think all of us had a little bit of fear of that worst case scenario. As the film crew documenting the sting operation, we have to be completely invisible. We don't want to tip off anyone staying there, working at the hotel, that we are filming something. If we alert them, that information can spread. John might get suspicious. We, as a film crew, have a lot of gear, and it is big, and it is noticeable. We came up with some interesting solutions of how to get our stuff into the room without being noticed. One of our tricks was lacrosse bags and golf bags. So we had these big cameras in the bags. We need to be so careful not to compromise anything that's happening with this sting operation. I've worked on a lot of true crime shows in the past. I've dealt with families who have lost loved ones and you experience their emotions and it's raw and it's hard to hear. This is really different. Dave is really different because he has no idea what happened. What was the final fate of his daughter? Everyone wants this to go well and everyone wants Dave to find his answers. It would be crushing if this operation failed.